this is so I'm awkward and don't know how to be on camera, but uh, I just wanted to make a video to say thank you for 50k, and I said I would do a Q&A, answer some questions. At the beginning of the year, say around January, I literally had a goal for the end of the year to be like 10k by 2019 was going to be my like huge goal, and hitting 50 in just the span of a few months is so crazy. So thank you very much, and now let's get to some questions. And so I asked people on Twitter, Instagram, to give me some questions, whatever they wanted, and I'm going to start with Twitter. So, um, great guy, uh, Arturo from the ATZ show, which it's a great channel if you haven't checked it out. Uh, he said your favorite video of yours and what it meant to you making it. And so I would probably say my Columbus video, uh, the video essay on the indie movie Columbus, would probably be my favorite video that I've done so far. And just because I go a little bit deeper personally, emotionally, and I go super nerdy and in depth with the movie itself, and I haven't got a, gotten a chance to do that in a long time, so that's probably the smartest I've ever sounded on the channel. Uh, Ryan Smith, longtime patron of the show, says favorite Kyle skit. And if you don't know who he's talking about, it's Kyle Mooney, currently on SNL. And while the basic answer, it's also the true answer and it's sporty. Uh, Asamati23 says, have you ever seen a spoon? <laughs> have you ever touched a fork? Carter S. Fowler asks, if you could interview anyone on the channel, who would it be? And while it's kind of a weird answer, I really want to talk to Fantano at some point. I just really want to know his process of how he listens to music and how he records his videos and what got him so interested in music and how he became the man he is today. And I think maybe down the line that can happen, who knows? If you have an in with Fantano, hook me up. Shirio Andreas says, thoughts on the new Brockhampton tracks? Uh, all three of them that have come out are phenomenal, uh, whether it be the performance on Fallon of Tanya, Wildfire, and Truman, they're all great. Like I said, with the leaving of Amir, while it is sad for a lot of people, I think they've progressed so much as artists already, they're evolving, they're trying new things, and love Bear uh, Bearface getting the addition on all these tracks, like to see him getting more of a spotlight. And he also asked me how was Tag, I absolutely hated Tag, <laughs> and I threw my letterbox review on Twitter, you can check that out if you want. Uh, Shinny Shine says, what's your inspiration to make this channel, and what's your favorite band artist of all time? Um, my inspiration to make the channel? I talked about it a little bit in my intro video, um, I don't know if that's the inspiration, but I just wanted to get better at video editing and speaking uh, publicly, whether it be online, I guess that's still kind of publicly in a way, um, with recording and writing scripts. I wanted to make something from nothing, I wanted a creative outlet, and some inspirations from bigger channels would be people like the Nerd Writer, uh, Captain Christian, uh, Needle Drop obviously, Chris Stuckman for film reviews, The Schmoes, Nakey Jakey, and then on a smaller scale, my boy Nick, shout out 24 Frames of Nick, uh, I watched a lot of his videos, I Am That Robbie, yeah there's a lot of people that have inspired me. And what's my favorite band of artist, band or artist of all time? Artist would be Kanye, band would be Fleetwood Mac. Uh, cool Kid Keenan asks, favorite place to listen to music? That would probably be just in the car, like on my drive to school. I always love listening to mu new music in there because I can be as loud as I want and scream lyrics as loud as I can and nobody gets to yell at me. And favorite cereal? That's a great question. Uh, Cocoa Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles, um, Frost Mini Wheats. America has some great cereals. If we've done one thing right, it's our cereal selection. A uh, BH related handle, which I'm guessing means Brockhampton. Seeing as you're one of the main people who got me into Brockhampton, I gotta ask, how did you find their music and why did it resonate? Guessing he means resonate with me so much. Um, my friend Adam knew about Kevin Abstract long before a lot of you did, I'm guessing. He has pictures with him from back in the day. And, um, before the Saturation 1 drop, he was sending me all the singles and music videos. And their music resonated with me so much just because it was fresh, it was original, it was really high quality, and I just stuck to them right away.
Uh, Liam Caesar asks, what are my thoughts on lo-fi music? I mean, if you're just talking about like how lo-fi music is recorded, I probably prefer everything to be a higher quality and very organized and normal, but I also love some good lo-fi every now and then too. Uh, wall underscore E uh, Parker asks, best car seat headrest album. That's super tough. I'd probably either say Teens of Denial or Twin Fantasy Face to Face. Um, if you're gonna make me pick one, probably Face to Face. Burgundy Carpets asks, do you ride with a new wave of SoundCloud rappers or prefer old school stuff? Um, I, I like some SoundCloud rappers and I feel like that's a pretty wide uh, category because I mean like Migos, were putting stuff on SoundCloud years ago. I don't know if you would contribute them as SoundCloud rappers, but Ski Mask is great. Uzi started out on SoundCloud. There are plenty of good SoundCloud rappers, but also I do, I probably in general would prefer old, old, older stuff. Uh, Hostway97 asks, if you could play any instrument for your favorite band artist, what instrument and which band would you choose? Um, I've always really wanted to learn how to play guitar and so John Mayer always has a guitarist on stage with him when he's doing live shows. So to be co-guitaring with John Mayer would be fun. Ranch is delish. Jessica asks, while doing research about an artist for your videos, have you ever learned anything new that has changed your perspective about that person and their music, good or bad? Definitely for the good. Learning any artist's story and how they got to success is always interesting. No matter if they have uh, like not that hard of a struggle growing to fame it's always interesting to see how they got there and how they kept pushing um, I don't know about bad I probably wouldn't have talked about them on the channel if it was bad I typically only talk about stuff I like uh, Jessica 99 Jessica bride asked favorite Frank Ocean project and why definitely blonde because it's perfection in every single way self-control is one of my favorite songs of all time that album's incredible and his, all of his albums are incredible, but Blonde's probably my favorite. Uh, Cal Joe asks, what is your favorite movie soundtrack you've ever heard? That's a loaded one. Um, well, there could be just like original songs for the movie and then songs not made for the movie that they put in the movie. Uh, Singing in the Rain, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, The Guardians movies, Sing Street, Grease, there's a ton of them. Uh, Ged Revan, Jed Revan. Get Revan Roche asks dinner party or stress relief part one. That's an incredible question. Um, so I'm gonna say stress, stress relief part one is probably the best episode of The Office. Uh, that one scene with the uh, test dummy, it's like kind of blown up and gotten way too mainstream, and like people always talk about it to death. But like that scene is one of the best I've ever seen on TV to begin with. And all of Dinner Party is great too, but that kind of draws on the line where when I'm watching The Office, some of it can just be so horribly cringy and awkward, which is like great and it's part of the show, but Dinner Party is just so intense with that. And I love that episode, but it can be a little bit too much. A uh, fire coming out of Baldy Kong says, who inspired you to create videos? I already touched on that, Nerd Writer, Needle Drop, uh, 24 Frames of Nick, all that. And so now moving on to Instagram, um, first one, Sloppy Sandra, longtime supporter of the show. What's a genre of movie or artist or song do you hate that's really popular? And that's a good question, but I don't think I'm going to single out any specific genre that I hate. I feel like you're missing out if you leave out a complete genre of things. Um, there's great art in all genres of movies and songs, whatever. But if I had to get specific, um, movies probably like very incoherent CGI nonsense, like Transformers or something. And then with music, I really hate like stadium country music, like the very generic formulaic, here's my tractor and my lady and my beer. But then people like Chris Stapleton and Casey Musgraves have made great country music recently, so you can't knock it off completely. Uh, Theo Saylard asks, what got you so interested in music? Um, I feel like I have to go a few different places for that. 
no matter what it is, just kind of my personality, I get really obsessive and like need to know everything about the things that I like, whether it be music, whether it be film, whether it be soccer, comic books, uh, geography. I love flags. That's a weird fun fact that nobody would ever know. I can name, show me a flag and I'll name it for you. But so there's that. I just love music, so I need to be super interested in music because that's just who I am. But then early on, my dad would always play me Beatles stuff, like very early on in my life. My brother would always show me uh, like old school hip hop, Tribe Called Quest and stuff like that. So shout out to my family for showing me good music early on. Sloppy Joe asks, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood? Orion asks, what are your top five films of all time and how do I choose them? Um, whatever answer I give you, it'll probably change tomorrow. But if I had to just name a few that'll always be in my top whatever. Uh, Social Network, David Fincher's always up there. Fargo, No Country for Old Men. Coen Brothers, uh, Silence of the Lambs. And Singing in the Rain. Uh, reasons for all of them. They're all great. Uh, the Perks of Being Curtis asks, will you please make a Spotify playlist? Um, the short answer is no, not right now. Um, with my schedule and making videos and writing and recording, I don't make playlists for myself just in daily life. I know a lot of people assume that. And so if I did, I would just share them out, who cares? But when I'm listening to music uh, on my own, I just kind of like listen to albums all the way through or just pick songs on the spot. I don't make playlists normally, so it would just be taking a lot of time out of my out of my day to be making playlists where there's no real, like, sounds kind of bad, but like monetary benefit. Like it's, I work a lot and it's just kind of a waste of time. I don't know. But if you do become a patron on uh, patreon.com slash alpha media, I'll make you a playlist for five bucks a month. I'll uh, be tailored just for you. Uh, Cody Downer asks, do you listen to music while you edit? If so, what have you been listening to recently while doing so? And the answer is no, I don't listen to anything while I edit, nothing while I do schoolwork or when I'm writing, reading, anything. I can't, I, I'm really bad with distractions and I can't listen to music at any of those times whenever I'm trying to get anything done. But in general, what have I been listening to recently? Sophie, more, more. Uh, a lot of stuff. Random movie soundtracks from the 80s. Um, Ike asks, when can we expect more makeup tutorials? Uh, let's say 100k. 100k I'll do a makeup tutorial. Uh, Peachy Bree asks, how old am I? Am I in college and when is my birthday? I, I don't know if I should be giving out all that information. <laughs> um, I'm probably a lot, I'm a lot younger than a lot of people have thought that I am. I'll say that. I am in college, and you have to guess my birthday. Uh, Blue, For Blue Flores asks, who are some of your favorite musicians growing up? And like I just said, uh, my dad and brother would show me all the music they liked growing up, so kind of whatever they were listening to, whether it be the Beatles with my dad, stuff like Tribe Called Quest with my brother, other old school hip hop like that. But then just like on my own as a youth, Loved Green Day, Black Eyed Peas, stuff like that. New Boys. Who? New Boys. <laughs> New Boys, big facts. Uh, Miguel's.a says, Can you make weekly slash monthly playlists of new songs you like and also playlists of your favorite songs? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you, Miguel. Um, I feel like that's a more reasonable kind of way of putting it. If anyone was super interested in it, maybe I'll make a monthly video of songs that came out that month that I liked, because then we would both be better benefiting from it. Uh, playlist of my favorite songs. Uh, I've been doing that top 10 favorite uh, video series. Maybe I'll do songs. Uh, Fino Day Butler says, does the Arctic Monkeys mainstream breakout in recent years ruin their indie rock status, or do you still believe that they are indie? Um... I don't really know specifically what you're asking, whether it be the definition of what indie means or whether like indie rock as a genre. Um, because like technically, I think they're still signed to Domino and Domino's an independent label. So technically they're still indie. 
but like I know what you mean because AM was I liked AM but it was a super like poppy mainstream rock album so that's not like too indie rock like their older stuff I don't know uh, gonna skip this comment that asked me why I'm not doing a giveaway that's greedy uh, Ava Kirchen asks if you had the chance to meet with any person dead or alive for a day who would you choose feel like I'm missing out if I'm not picking someone dead because like maybe I'll meet somebody that's alive still um let's say Stanley Kubrick fake Jackson B says what's your candid opinion on mumble rap and so my candid opinion on mumble rap is that that is a stupid phrase made up by people that just don't like music evolving because in essence also I feel like everybody doesn't have a concrete definition of what mumble rap is like nobody agrees on what that means if i was gonna go for the most like generalized way people put it it's the guys that make music on trap beats and they kind of slur their words they're probably from the south because they have like a little bit of twang in their accents so you can't understand them as well people like young thug future migos and those are all great artists i love a lot of those guys and so, yeah, I think the, all the hated, hatred on mumble rap is really dumb because a lot of those guys make incredible music. Are there bad mumble rappers? Sure, there probably are, but I like a lot of them. Emily09px2021 says, what are some of your favorite scenes in movies? That's very broad, and I could sit here for two days talking about my favorite scenes in movies. Um, I'll give you one recently. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Paddington 2, the best movie of 2018, but the general plot is that Paddington Bear is trying to buy a pop-up book for his Aunt Lucy, and when he initially picks up this pop-up book of London, the whole scene, everything turns into a pop-up book, like the style of what you're looking at, and it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen on film. Uh, Jesse asks, if you could go back in time and experience one concert in person, what would it be? I don't know if you mean a concert that I've been to or just a concert in general. Back in time kind of makes it sound like really back in time. Um, one that I've been to, I went to see Kanye on the Yeezus tour, so that's my answer for that. But concert in general, I can't remember what year it was uh, when Radiohead played Glastonbury right after OK Computer came out. Probably 97? Let's say Radiohead, Glastonbury, 97. Uh, Fausto... Uh, Faust... O D Gom D N. Sorry. Says, have you heard the new album from the internet? Yes, it's incredible. And will there be new videos like that one of Call Me By Your Name? I'm guessing you're talking about the VHS style compilation little edit thing. And yeah, I'd love to make more videos like that. That was a lot of fun. It was something different, a little bit refreshing for me. But I did run into a major like copyright issue when I was uploading that video. I had to re-edit it and like mess with the audio a billion times and it took way too long and wasted a lot of storage on my computer making that making those small edits so I could get around the copyright. So if I find easier ways to get around it, then yes I will. Uh, Fino Day Butler says, Do you think that listening to music while doing physical activities such as football and skateboarding or just cleaning the house can make you better or more productive during these activities and I mean activities like that it'll make you more entertained it'll I'll have a better time cleaning or playing sports listening to music but I don't know about more productive uh, Sebes Robles says how did you how do you discover music and when did your interest in music begin to spark um the best answer for discovering new music is just looking in a lot of different places Talk to your friends, see what they're listening to, uh, great websites, whether they be any of the generic ones, Pitchfork, The Fader, Complex, who cares, a lot of them touch on new artists when they come out. Uh, I know it's a kind of a weird answer, but watching all the needle drop videos, regardless of if I know the artist or not, because say he says things that intrigue me about them, maybe I'll check them out. Just look in a lot of different places youtube recommendations always give small artists a bigger platform uh, and when did my interest in music begin to spark like i said i've been super into music since i was a kid but when did i really start to obsess with it probably early high school freshman sophomore year nat varn says favorite actors 
Uh, my answer that I always give for this is Jake Gyllenhaal and Amy Adams. But other people I love, I love Joaquin Phoenix. I love Amy, or not Amy Adams. Uh, Tessa Thompson has been incredible in everything that she's been in recently. Mahershala Ali. I love everyone. And he says, favorite childhood movies or TV shows? Uh, definitely, definitely for the TV shows, the X-Men, the animated series, classic uh, movies, probably the Iron Giant, Lion King, stuff like that, classics. Bryn Thompson, 23, how do you find your most of your music? Just answered that. Bad Fit, a longtime supporter of the show. Jacob, what do you think the secret sauce is behind a good band or artist? Is anyone capable of becoming a great artist? Or does it require one to be born with the ability? That's kind of an interesting question because I think yes and no. Because say you're just talking about like playing an instrument, I think practice anyone can play whatever instrument they want if they work hard enough at it. But to be like a great artist, you can't practice being interesting. You can't like teach that. So yes and no. If you're like in a band, sure, you can be an incredible drummer if you put your mind to it. But I don't know if everyone's going to love your solo stuff and like be interested in you. So there is probably some secret sauce there. Uh, Citrus Fruit says, why did you start doing YouTube? Talked about this earlier. Wanted to have a creative outlet, get better at video editing, stuff like that. Siek, Siek Jinhee, sorry. Your opinions on the latest Brockhampton songs, music videos, please. Need to listen to some intelligent thoughts. The comment section on each video is a mess. Uh, they're all great. They're all fantastic. The one gripe I kind of do have, and don't take this the wrong way, it's just kind of like a prediction for the future, and I hope they don't keep doing something. Um, on Truman, I'm glad that Bareface is getting more of the spotlight, but I don't think they need to include him in every single track. Because, like, we usually hear ba Bareface a lot on his closing track on the Saturation albums, and then a few times on like an outro or a chorus, maybe, but like very light too. But he's been on Tanya, Wildfire, and Truman. And so like that's, I don't need Bareface to be on every single song. I like, like too much of a good thing is definitely a thing. Uh, Faye Tobin says, do you think it's right for artists to charge ridiculous amounts of money for their fans to see them in concert when they could easily make the tickets way less and put on the same show? Um, I don't, th I feel like you should be pointing the finger more at, like, ticket companies, because I think a lot of artists would like to charge, and a lot of artists do charge, like, 25 bucks, and venues do that, but then what you see is that ticket companies buy out thousands of tickets and then sell them for ten times more, but, I mean, some artists put on these grandiose, huge shows, like Beyonce and Kanye, Jay-Z, they do these like immaculate things with crazy screens and stuff and yeah they already do have all the money in the world but i don't know i feel like your gripe should be more with ticket companies and not the artists themselves tommy turbo 2000 great name says what are your main ways of finding new artists did that already also what kind of equipment do you use for your videos uh, i edit with premiere and i record with a blue yeti mic who are your favorite artists look at all my videos those people Kanye is the answer that I give for my favorite artist ever. And how do you feel about award shows because Kanye and others have gone against them? How do you feel about them? Look, um, award shows and winning awards don't signify that something is fantastic. Uh, that Macklemore album beat Good Kid Mad City for best rap album that year. That's not, or album of the year, I can't remember what it was. But awards do not specifically say this is the best of this thing. And while I do like love watching award show just because I love pop culture and stuff, art awards definitely don't say this is the best version of that. The thing that I do think is important about award shows is that they do get to shine a light on smaller artists sometimes. Like I wish, like with certain indie movies at the Oscars, I'll be really disappointed if they don't get a Best Picture nom because that gets a lot of eyes on that movie. You know what I mean? And Third Wheelin asks, if you were to start a new band, what elements from current bands would you copy? Uh, I don't know about specific elements from current bands. Just if I was going to give 
like some themes of what I would want to do is to like stay true to your roots, but don't be afraid to evolve and try new things. Uh, stay true to yourself and try to explore. Explore yourself, explore new sounds, uh, do interesting things. And so that's pretty much all the questions I got. Thank you for asking them. Uh, if you want to leave more in the comments below, I'll be stopping by answering whatever you want. Uh, thank you so much for 50k. It's unreal. I can't believe it. It's so nice. And here's to seeing you at 100k. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. Can you come back real quick? And then in the frame, just you don't even have to go in it. Just clap. 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 So I can sync the audio and the... Uh, that. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. If you want to follow my social media, the links are down below. You can also donate to my Patreon, help the show, and get some cool rewards if you click the link on the screen. And I sell merch at tpublic.com slash user slash alphomedia. Thanks for watching, and always forward.